Hey players, this is EMC, and here I am back at beautiful Dawnstar, and it's a lovely morning in Skyrim. I am going to do a unedited walkthrough um, to find all four of the missing students of the College of Winterhold. And I've made one video about this already, but it was edited in order to not be overly long. And a lot of people really love this non-quest. It's not really a quest, but people love it, love trying to find these students. And uh, it's not easy to do. So um, I am going to do an unedited version that hopefully will be helpful. <laughs> so it's going to be long because I'm not going to edit. So from Dawnstar, what you want to do is just start running along the coast. And we're basically going to run all the way from Dawnstar to Winterhold. So it's going to take a little time. <laughs> I have my detection toggled off, so none of the critters are going to notice me, and I won't have to stop every two minutes and fight a bear. Here, I might as well talk about this place. This is an unmarked place, and <laughs> it's called the Lover's Tent. Uh, inside, there's a couple sleeping bags and some wine and some, uh, uh, flowers scattered about and two pairs of shoes. And that's like the most confusing part of the whole scene for me is the shoes. It's like, wait, did, I don't know. Did <laughs> Why are there shoes? That's the part that it like totally baffles me. I get the rest of it. It's just fine. But why are there shoes? Did they leave without their shoes? Are their shoes there in case the shoes they came in were wet? I don't know. Oh, I don't understand. So hopefully there's not a, a couple running around Skyrim without their shoes. Because it's cold out here. Any actual person in the real world would die <laughs> doing any of this stuff. Okay. It, the first one is not too hard to find. Probably the easiest one. We're almost there. Do I see it? I think I see where it is. Yep, I see it. Okay, we're almost there. Let's see if I can sprint. Hey, it's sprint. There we are. Yay! So, you want to look for the place that's all on fire. <laughs> and um, this is Yis Yisra. Um, if you talk to Finnis over at the College of Winterhold, uh, the guy who tells you about there being four missing students, uh, if you remember, he'll say uh, that Yisra was working on her flame cloak spell, it, and uh, she wanted to make it stronger to work in Skyrim's harsh environment. And it, very clearly, she made it too strong and got all burnt up. So, if you open up her corpse, you find a necklace with her name on it. And there's a spell tome for flame cloak, if you dare. And that's our first one, Yisra. She's pretty easy. Here, let me pull up my map really quick and show you exactly where I am. 
Okay, so I'm right here on the shore, and this is a big, easy to see Nordic ruin. So that, you can always tell where she's like pointed straight at that. Okay, so onward. Next one is a bit farther away. Ah, polar bear. There's a lot of bears out here. Spiky grass. Lots of alchemy to collect. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna have to cross this. Get over there. I'm just gonna swim. There we go. And barnacles. Yay. Yeah, let's sprint. Sprint, sprint, sprint. Ah, barnacles. Alright, where am I? Oh. Slide of fish eggs. Okay. another rare. So I can see the college right there. There's the College of Winterhold. Um, over there you see a boat. One's capsized and uh, one is on the shore and that's going to be the Pilgrim's Trench right here. It's uh, actually a big underwater uh, collection of shipwrecks and there's not a ton there to find. There's a few chests. Um, they're all, they all seem to see, be in one of the capsized chests, the one that has the cabin still intact if you go down there. Uh, yeah, there's not too much for your effort. But if you come up here, there's a little camp. And a letter for Shelly. Shelly, your ship should have arrived weeks ago, and I fear the worst has happened. I've set up camp on this rock, as your ship should pass by here, and hopefully one of these days we'll be together again. If you're reading this, I'm probably out hunting or bringing in some supplies. I'll be waiting here until I see your face again. And I guess he'll be waiting forever, or his bones. We'll be waiting forever. Uh, yeah. They're dead. <laughs> yeah, that's sad. That's a sad story. I don't know if that's a sad shack or a sad lean-to. So, over here is a shrine to Talos. And uh, there's a pathway behind. So all the way around behind him. There we go. Oop. There we go. Alright, so there's a shrine to Talos. There's a skill book. One handed. There is a satchel with some ingredients in it. And a weapon that is leveled. And uh, some dead people. Yeah. Okay. Well, there's the college. Always keep your eye. That's where we're going. So. 
We lose the path, just try to find the college again. Spiky! Okay, let me see. Alright, so there, right? Okay, so there's Talos, right? Directly across from him is going to be the tomb for the tomb of Yskrimor. So, actually, I probably should have stayed on this island. So you want to go over there to the island where the tomb of Yskrimor is. And there's sort of kind of a land bridge here. Now, don't go up there. You don't need to go up there. What you need to do is go around the back side of the island. Oop. Jump. So you go around the back side of this island and you'll see this platform here. It's kind of out of place. And you're going to have to swim a little bit to get over there. And it is yet another shrine to Talos. Look at that. And some skeevers. Oh my goodness. And then only one is still alive. <laughs> the rest of them are dead, including this unfortunate Argonian here. And this is Ellis Ty, who is a male. <laughs> um, Finnis, I think, describes, says, says she. Uh, he says that she uh, was working on her calm spell. It only ever worked with skeevers. So, if you see here, she has a scroll of fury. He has a scroll of fury. Here, we'll just loot him. He's got a whole bunch of ingredients, actually. See? Mail. So, here's a scroll of fury. Here is a scroll of calm. And he had a cage full of skeevers that he was experimenting on. So here's an alteration skill book. And over here is another satchel and another scroll of calm. So, um, my theory, which I think is probably correct, uh, he was working on his calm spell, so he was using fury to make them fight and uh, then trying to calm them down with the calm spell and something went awry. Um, oh, I think I, I looted him too quickly. He actually has a ring with his name on it uh, as well. So now that we've found our student number two, don't forget the Nern route. Now we gotta get off of here and back to the shore. on this island. Okay. Uh, there's a little land bridge. And back to the other Talos. Which is right there. Okay, now we're back on the shore and continue onward 
to the College of Winterhold, which is right there. We're coming up on it. Isn't that amazing? That is such a cool sight, I think. Looks like it, it, it does look like it's being held up by the will and force of magic. Um, so you'll come across right underneath the College of Winterhold. Uh, the city of Winterhold is right up there. And there's college and down below here is a whole lot of rubble from the great collapse so let's see just want to get around all this stuff artifice eggs <gasps> barnacles there's some more barnacles Oh, wrong button. <laughs> and so I turn around. There it is. We're almost there. <laughs> so you kind of turn, and there's like a little bend. And then what you want is this path right here. So there's the college. So you do have to run a little ways past it. Let me bring up the map and I'll show you just how far I am. Okay, so here's the college. Here's Winterhold. And we're just a little past it. And this is the path that actually goes up and will lead you all the way back to Winterhold. Okay. Oh, boom. And another thing we got here. <laughs> um, it, two skeletons. One person clearly got themselves in a bear trap. Uh, the other person here has an apothecary satchel, and I think this person was trying to uh, heal this person. And I don't know, they both died. <laughs> that's, that's pretty sad. Oh my god, he's got a Daedra heart. Oh, that's crazy. And an alchemy scale book. So that is some good stuff. That's quality loot. Alright, so you don't need to go super far. Like right here. So this path continues up. But what we want to do is turn to the east. Oh my god, did you hear that noise? There was a really creepy noise. So, um, okay, so there is where I came. There's the shore. You just want to come up a bit and then turn to the east. And as soon as you start up the hill, you'll see it. Now, there's some frost ruins here. So be careful of those. There's one there, one there. And here is Rune D. And according to Finnis, him and his brother were working on frost magic. They were trying to use frost ma magic to make a mead that would compete with Honeybrew. They were obsessed with mead. That is what Finnis says. So, he doesn't have anything on his person, but over here is his dagger with his name on it, Rundi. Ooh, and there's a black soul gem. So he has some ice wraith teeth and some frost miriam and another skill book, alchemy. 
and frost salts and frostbite venom and that's it that's number three. <laughs> oh crap <laughs> oh my god so <laughs> go back to the path see here's the path and follow it up And yeah, generally where it's either a bear or a saber cat that is standing right there. Uh, that's when you know to turn. <laughs> you turn towards Winterhold and you'll see the marker for Winterhold in your HUD. And just run to Winterhold. Run, run, I'm running over here. Run, 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 I'm running over here. Winter hold, yay! So, you just want to get on the road. And you're here. There we are. Here's the road. Don't just walk away from me. What do you think you're going? To the inn for a drink, of course. Where else could I even go in this God's forsaken town? <laughs> and what? You think that'll solve all your problems? Probably not, but it's worth a try. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Uh, you know, what can you say? It is winter hold. Why would you live here? If you had any other option. Okay, so we're we're going on the road out of Winterhold, away from the shore, away from the college, and we're just going to follow this road up to, there's a little tiny mine up here. It's not too far. There it is. I see it in my HUD. See it right there? Ooh, what's that? Oh, vigilance. Uh, hate the vigilance. So dumb. Run, run, run. Rhea? Who's Rhea? Who's Rhea? Fight with us and you'll have stories to tell. Oh. Come up to your Vasker, if you're worth anything in a fight. Oh, you're a companion. Okay. Cool. Good day. All right. What's she doing out here? She's a long way from Light Run. Okay, so there'll be a guard here, a city guard, um, looking after the mine. And... It's a really little mine. It's not that a very great mine. But from the mine, um, you turn and look across the road. And you'll see in my HUD, there's a little barrel. A little Nordic barrel there. That is Journeyman's Nook. And luckily, this one has a, a, a map marker. So you'll see the little... Even if you haven't discovered it, it'll be black, but you'll see a little shape for the barrel. And here it is. Journeyman's Nook. And there's going to be a bandit in here. They don't know I'm here. And our dead student, Borvir. That's number four. Poor Borvir. He got shot up by this bandit. And here is his dagger. And he had a really nice uh, little hideout here. A uh, little lab. He's got a bunch of ingredients. And here's another skill, alchemy skill book. And there's all kinds of cool stuff, uh, including this knapsack 
which has, among other things, treasure map number two. Excellent. So, you're going to want to kill this guy and take all of this stuff because uh, they're dead and they don't need it. So, that's number four. We're done. It's as easy as that. So, no edits. That's how you do it. And uh, I will pull up my map one last time to show you where I am. As you can see now at west is how you get back to the road. Just look for the mine again to get back to the road. All right, there I am, Journeyman Snook. And there's the whistling mine. And this is the road that goes all the way to Winterhold. So the path was actually right here from the shore. Went up here to go to Winterhold. But like right here, was Rundy. And then ran over here. Here's Yuskramor's tomb. And there was that other shrine to Talos where Illis Tay was. And then over here by Pilgrim's Trench, there's another shrine to Talos over here on the shore. And, um, oops. Where am I? Okay, Yuskramar's Tomb, Pilgrim's Trench. Oh, there it is. This is the Nordic ruin that um, Yisra is right across on the shore. So that's it. That's all four. Yay! Well, it, it is fun. Um, once you kind of get the hang of how this shoreline works, it's, it's really not so hard. So... But it is fun, and there's lots of alchemy stuff to collect out here. So, uh, yeah, have fun doing that. And uh, I hope you like this. I hope this helped somebody <laughs> who might have been having a hard time with it. Um, if you like this, please give me a like and please subscribe. And I will be back with plenty more uh, videos about this, that, and the other thing, and until then, have fun exploring Skyrim.